Andrew McCart, IFL TV, probably sponsored, but I was a bit zoomed in at your face there, Lewis, I do apologise. With me I've got Lewis Richardson. Lewis, you're finally here. I think I spoke to you the last fight at the at Raintree when it was uh, the MTK show. Yes. Uh, nice little venue. Uh, you're back in the North East in front of your home fans, looking to make amends after the last fight, man. How are you feeling? No, I feel good. You know, I've lost a lot of weight since I last seen you, haven't I? So, yeah, uh, shame it's in uh, Sunderland Lake, but obviously it's an North East venue and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, be jumping for it and uh, the good atmosphere. Talk to me about this this tough Mexican that you've got in front of you, Uris Cueta. Um, you I mean, the, the last fight, Ponce, was a difficult fight, a difficult fight for yourself in terms of the loss as well, because you know the backlash you get on social media and all the rest of it. So what are we expecting in this fight? Are we going to expect the best Lewis Fritz in it and a fight to maybe take them doubters or them haters and prove them wrong? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's been like, it's, we've had it, we're like, we need a performance, you know what I mean? It's been the last two fights against Ponce and Vasquez haven't really been great with we're like on top of the world after that Robbie Davis fight, you know, everyone was talking about, well, look at Ritson, he's like a new fighter, and then only two fights later, it's, he's shite, he's been around for, and the, that's probably half the problem, I have, like, I'm only 28, but I've been, it seems like I've been around for absolute years, do you know what I mean, like, I've been on Sky all the, like, last 12 or 13 fights now, so, you do get a bit sick, because it does seem like you've been going around for ages, so, I need to sort of, like, get people talking when I first come on the scene, when I was that young lad, knocking everybody out, you know, like, but I'm not saying I'm going to go in there looking for knockouts, but I need to go to good performances and get people talking about it again. Go back to when you were lightweight, like, you, like when you were that young lad at lightweight, you were knocking, knocking everybody out. You know what I mean? So, do you think that you've carried that power up at 140? Do you think maybe, you, maybe you've lost a little bit of power because you were massive at lightweight and maybe you're not the biggest at 140? Do you think that may, is that is that a factor or am I just talking shite? No, I think you probably, you know, at first I thought oh, the power's going to go up, but I'm sort of like stuck in there where I'm massive for 9 so 9, but too, like, not really big for 10 stone, do you know what I mean? Like, if there was a 9 stone 12 weight, we'd be, we'd be laughing, do you know what I mean? But sadly, there's not, you know? So, you know, like, even Ponce, out at, he was about a stone heavier than we were when in that ring on, on uh, the last fight, you know, he was he was massive. And, I mean, I did knock the weight up a little bit, so I had something to do with it. But, you know, like, we've got to, we should be beating kids like that, you know, like, if I want to go anywhere. So, yeah, I think it's a bit the same. Like, we were massive at 9 9, a little bit too small at 10 stone, but we've just got to sort of, Make it, make it work for it. We've mentioned these Mexicans before in the past, how they've came over to the UK and they've caused that massive upset. Robbie Davis Jr. one, uh, Josh Warrington another, James Tennyson. James Tennyson, and there's three just off the top. Jay Harris, oh my gosh, we can keep going. So for you, are you looking? do you look at that or do you just concentrate on what you've got ahead of you? Because again, he is a tough opponent. He's, he's, he's had way more fights than you, even though he's maybe have lost four drawn two, but... Again, these Mexicans, they don't just come to get a paycheck and then go back to Mexico. They come to win. No, the cup win's going to be real to fight. And I think it was only last year he came over, didn't he? And he beat an English lad who had 11 and 11. So he's been over here and upset the apple cart as well uh, last year. So he'd be looking to try and do the same again. So we've got to be, got to be on the ball and we've got, to, we've got to stick to the plan this time. You know, stick behind the jab, not sort of get roped into having a fight with him and leave that for like later on in the fight and not, not straight away. Again, the 140-pound division is, is, is an exciting division domestically. I mean, Josh Taylor versus Catterall, we'll get your thoughts on that. But you've got guys like Tyne McKenna is now, it looks like he might be facing Regis Progre, which is a fight that's a massive fight for Tyrone, but a fight that maybe no one would even thought about happening. So 2022, you and Probellum, are you hoping for these big, massive fights? I mean, again, this Ura Square is a tough opponent, but maybe not an opponent where the UK fans are going to be like, ah, Lewis has got a tough guy ahead of him. Yeah. But for 2022... Are you looking for these big fights? Oh, definitely. You know, it's hard because obviously I take the Hulk go fans will know this is a tough fight. But like the casuals who just say a name and say a Mexican who's lost a few will go, oh, Ritson should be going through him where we know we know ourselves that's not the case. Do you know what I mean? So I've got to get through this fight problem. We've got some big plans for 2022. And they've mentioned the likes of McKenna or her idea is pro grey. You know, but I need to get a couple of wins together. Get people talking about we again, then we'll get stuck in them fights, no problem at all. Talking about get stuck in, talking about the sparring with Ricky Burns. I know Ricky likes to get stuck in, I know you like to get stuck in. Just talking about them spars, were they good? Oh, no, yeah, you'd, you'd pay to watch them to be fair. Like, yeah, we've had some. Well, he's been, we've been with me and Spawn Pot, I spawn twice a week since we found out we we're both fighting there. He's been coming down, yeah, we've been going up there and we've been having some very good rounds. So, and there's still life in the old the old man, yet, like, he's, uh, he's still fresh, isn't he? He's still fresh, he's nice and young, he's, uh, and he's been spawning well, so it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to his fight and hopefully we can get two wins and keep the spawn going. Talking about our Scot uh, Scotsman and our countrymen, Josh Taylor versus Cattle. Uh, I think I spoke to you the last MTK show uh, in the last Rain Tenor. What's it, what's it called again? The Rain Tenor Arena. 
you, we spoke about that fight, but now it's been made. Has your opinion changed on the outcome of the fight? No, it hasn't actually. No, I've, I've been watching a few like uh, hit the heads, and usually I thought Carter was like quite quiet. Is this? But he's been been giving it a bit, honey, a bit swearing, a bit of this, a bit of that. So uh, I keep seeing it on every interview. Josh is a special fighter. Do you know what I mean? Like he's leagues and leagues above, were not he? You know, like as an us domestic lot. Well, the world lot look at him as unified world champion. You know, like I know they were pushing for a fight between me and him, but. I've always said he's a special fight guy, he's this and that, so hopefully he wins Catrell, moves up to 147 and leaves all them belts for us to sort of pick up because all this 140 pound fighters are sick of him being here, yeah, do you know what I mean? So <laughs> he can sort of fuck off to 147. <laughs> well, there you go then. Uh, you mentioned Tyrone McKenna, Regis Progre. I mentioned that fight's come out the woodwork. Ty- yeah. Tyrone's been busy on social media asking for that fight. He might have got his wish. Tough fight for Tyrone, but a good fight for Tyrone at the same time because Regis is uh, an elite level opponent. Yes, well, I've seen. Uh, I don't know when the fight's getting made, but Regis looked fat as a pig in Dubai when he was getting a few photos with, uh, with Thingy. So, uh, yeah, we also he's been living the life, hasn't he? Where, you know, uh, and Tyrone sort of come, come the last few years, hasn't he? You know, even though he got beat off a of horror, he boxed at a Mexican in his last fight, he had a bit of a war, everyone's talking about him now. So, it's funny how, like, you can get beat one fight and everyone's saying this, and you can win the next one, and all of a sudden you're, you're up there, and he, he's got himself up there, hasn't he, Tyrone? I like him, he's a nice lad, and, uh, Hopefully he gets a fight and gets a nice payday out of it and he puts on a performance. You open for something like that, lost the next one, big performance this one and get that big fight next time? Yes, definitely. You know, 100% hopefully get the payday as well, do you know what I mean? So, no, but listen, I, I, I'm only 28, man. I love the boxing. I'm still going strong. You know, like, apart from my last fight against, but I've never really took no stick in, in any of my fights apart from the last one where I just got caught with a few body shots, really. So, I'm still fresh. I'm, I've still got loads off and we're going to be chasing them big fights in 2022. Finally then, what can the fans expect from you on Saturday night? I just expect a very good night, you know, we've got a really good uh, undercard on with local lads, Mark Dickinson's going to be on, Tommy Ward, Ricky Burns, it's going to be a really good night and I think, you know, me, Tommy and Ricky, we've, 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 the three, we've got very tough fights coming up, so uh, we're going to be on the top of the game and we're going to expect three good performances. Lewis, as always, pleasure to meet you and I'll see you at the win tomorrow, man. Let's win tomorrow, thank you. Cheers, Lewis.